Michigan 19, Illinois 17. And this one was goofy. I mean, the, the referees in this game were a disaster. Uh, and that's not to say that Michigan, like, didn't deserve to win the ball game, um, because there was some crazy stuff just all over the field. But it did seem to slant a little bit towards Michigan, uh, some of the calls. And if you look at, uh, we're going to pull this thing up. If you look at the uh, the actual penalties here, you know, it was not crazy. Like, Illinois had four penalties for 40 yards, Michigan four for 25. But the issue was, like, some of the non-calls and some of the stuff that they were able to get away with, right? This this was not, uh, this this was strange for Michigan. And absolutely, it's a look-ahead spot, et cetera. We get that with Michigan. Harbaugh, you know, Blake Corum going out, what, second quarter, and then was able to come back in and, and actually rush. He, he got over 100 yards. Here, we're going to put it back up on the screen. Uh, but, yeah, he got 108 yards. He did run for a touchdown. Uh, J.J. McCarthy, yeesh. Uh, there, there were some bad spots where they really needed him to be good. His QBR was 46.7, uh, 18 out of 34, 208 yards. He did run seven times for 18 yards. Man, this was not a great overall game. Uh, Chase Brown looked like he was going to be the hero. 29 carries, 140 yards, two touchdowns. And that's after tweaking an ankle last week where it looked like he was going to be, you know, eh, somewhat questionable. He just went out and powered through this thing. Um, it, that clear miss on the offensive pass interference on a pick play on fourth and three with less than a minute left, like that was off, just off. Uh, Blake Corum, like I, I mentioned before, him going out before the half, I'm curious if he's going to feel that more this week. Like, is he going to be questionable going into Ohio State? Uh, I, I would imagine he'll be ready. If Chase Brown was able to come back this week, Corum is probably going to be fine going into next week. Uh, Michigan, the way that they won this game was insane to me. Three field goals in the fourth quarter. Um, all of the drives finished inside of the Illinois 25-yard line. So, like, the, the here's the crazy part. Michigan had seven scoring attempts on the day and finished with 19 points. Like, they had one touchdown, four field goals, one fumble, and one turnover on down. They got inside the Illinois 47 times and only came away with 19 points. Like, the Illinois defense had a lot to do with that, I understand. But if you're Michigan, you're hoping that you are crisp going into the Ohio State. And we're going to talk about Ohio State in just a minute because it's not like they were great either. But regardless, uh, Zone 6 said Michigan without uh, Corum and Edwards isn't great. It's true. Uh, it's very true. Um, you know, like... Stokes was fine, I guess. Like, it, I just, this team relies so heavily on the running backs, and I never would have imagined in 2022 that we would be in a position where a team would only go as far as their running backs, right? <laughs> like, that's that's insane. Scotty says uh, Michigan soft schedule has done them no favor. I, I don't know that it's necessarily prepared them for, like, tough ball game, which sounds insane looking at who they've played, but I don't think that they're, like, fully prepped for a game like Illinois. Uh, you know, Illinois was coming with fight. Brett Bielum fired up up after they unbelievable um yeah so this was a, a weird one but hey uh, michigan got it done when they needed to like at, at the end of the day it's not like uh it's not like the refs can go out and kick the field goal for you you know you got to be able to get that and they, you got to drive down the field so they had to make plays to get the win and they did cheers to illinois though for putting up a fight that was a that was a heck of a ball game thanks for listening to winning cures everything make sure and subscribe on youtube or your favorite podcast app and make sure to leave a nice five-star review you can follow gary on twitter at Gary WCE and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.